Today I'm going to be testing my knowledge of the World Cup to build my FIFA team. I've got this lovely quiz with 15 questions. Every time I get a question right, I can use any player I want in my team. But if I get it wrong, I've got to use a bronze. But ultimate World Cup quiz questions and answers. <sighs> Let's do it. Which nation has won the most World Cups? Now, it's either Germany or Brazil. I love how they got Colombia in there. Like, no offense, Colombia, but I'm pretty sure you've not won a World Cup. My first answer is that Brazil have won the most World Cups. Now, the quiz doesn't give me the answers until the end, so we're going to have to Google them one by one. Brazil with five. Oh, take a bow. Yes. 1-0 chuff. And the first three of those, Pele was in the team. As it was Brazil, let's take uh, the highest rated Brazilian in my club into the team. Let's just see what it is. That ain't Brazilian. <laughs> oh, let me, let's not even talk about this card. So I bought him for a video last week on Wednesday for 820,000 coins. As you do after a video, I listed him up. It's Friday. I've just seen that Brazil have lost in the quarterfinals. I check his price on Footbin and it's under 200k. I check my FIFA account and I haven't sold him. I just lost 600,000 coins. So you know what, Bruno? I want to get my money's worth. So I'm 100% using you. Oh, God, that's painful. Okay, for the next question, I'm actually going to be answering for my goalkeeper. Where was the inaugural World Cup in 1930 held? Inaugural, that's the first, right? <laughs> oh, my God, I'm dumb. It's Paraguay, Uruguay. I've seen some stuff about Uruguay. So I'm going to say Uruguay. Thank you very much. Took place in Uruguay, 13th of July to the 30th of July in the summer when the World Cup should be held. Do you know how weird it is watching the World Cup with your Christmas lights on? It freaks me out. Now, I kind of want to stick with the theme and take a Uruguayan player, but I don't think there's many Uruguayan goalies, but it doesn't matter. I think it's pretty much Muslera is the best. You know what? Let's just use him. And I'm going to use his World Cup card because it's a World Cup themed video. So why the hell not? What is the USMN... What? USMNT? Oh, US Men's National Team. Why confuse things? They don't have the... What is the EMNTs? It's just England. I'm pretty sure this year is their best ever year, right? And they got to the last 16? So I'm going to say the last 16. Hang on a minute. The United States participated in the inaugural World Cup and got to the semi-finals. But well, they kept that quiet. I'm not angry. I am disappointed. I didn't realize they'd done a fair play. So I'm going to take the lowest, yes, the lowest rated USA player in my team. And they're going to play wherever they play. Holiday, he's back. I'll put you right back. Once we finish this quiz and I smash you, because you're not going to beat my score, let's just be honest about this. I am going to play one game of FIFA with the team. And we're going to do, though, anyone who gets under a 6.5 gets discarded. Now, if I discard this Bruno Gamares card, it will kind of be the end of a very sad story. All right, this time I'm actually going to play for one of my centre-backs. Question four, what was the fastest World Cup goal ever scored? Oh, God, they were talking about this the other day. Wasn't it like an Eastern European team? Who am I kidding? You know what? 10.8. Looks like it rings a bell. <laughs> Do you know? Of course you don't. 10.8. The fastest ever World Cup goals. Hakan Suka, 11 seconds. Wait, I've got to be right. I'm the closest to 11, so that means it must have been 10.8, but they're lazy and rounded it. As it was scored by a Turkish player, I think it's only fair that we take a Turkish player. What is the best Turkish centre-back in the game? Really? Just base Soyuncu. I was hoping it was going to be a bit more exciting than that. For the fifth question, we're going to spice things up a little bit. If I get it wrong, I have to take a goalkeeper as one of my strikers. Question five. Only one host nation has ever been eliminated in the group stages. Can you name them? I'm automatically thinking Italy because they're the most unlikely. Like USA 94, you could understand it. South Africa in 2010, you could understand it. Oh, you're going to have a goalie up front, aren't I? This is either really smart or really stupid. I'm going to say Italy. Oh, I'm wrong. It was actually South Africa in 2010. There's an article here which talks about Qatar, who obviously went out in the group stage. They're saying it's the first host nation that hasn't succeeded since South Africa. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Now, you know what I'm going to use, right? There's only one man for the job. Now, somebody said that his actual second position is striker. I think that's absolute bull. And it's right. His second position is not a striker, but it might as well be because he is an absolute beast. I'll score goals with him. Also, do you like my World Cup ball? So this is the, the official match ball, the actual match ball they used. Uh, I want to start collecting them for major tournaments. I used to collect footballs as a kid, and I want to get back into it. It's so nice. It smells of... Nothing much. Question six. Who is the oldest player ever to score a World Cup goal? 
Oh, no. Marcelo Salas? Who the hell's that? Roger Mia. I recognize Miller's, Miller's name. The name that instantly stood out for me is just popping into my head, which means I've probably heard it over the coverage of the World Cup. When they were talking about Cristiano Ronaldo scoring, he became the, the eldest and the youngest player for Portugal to score a World Cup. And I'm sure they mentioned something about Roger Mia. That's why his name is, like, rememberable. Time to go for old Rog. Roger Mia! <laughs> Let's go! He's Cameroonian. What legend? Oh my god, I know who I'm using. He was 42, 39 days. By the way, that makes me feel young. I'm 39. Against Russia in 1994. We love to see it. Rog played for Cameroon, so my next player is also going to play for Cameroon. I packed him the other day. Samuel Etu Water. He, oh, I love this guy. And it's a really good card. And you know what? I'm happy with the flex. We'll take it. Come on in, question number seven. I'm ready for you. How many World Cups has Megan Rapinoe won? Who the boop is that? Megan is a, is a lady's name, right? So we're talking about ladies football. My knowledge of the history is not great. I, 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 I don't know. The fact that zero is there is a bit off-putting because I'm like, well, I don't know who they are. So I just put zero. But you know what? I think Megan's won one World Cup. So Megan is a uh, footballer for the US women's national team. And she actually won two World Cups, 2015 and 2019. I'm going to take the lowest USA player from the club, Daj Duar, but I've already got him. So that wouldn't really be fair. We're going to take in, you know what? I'm going to take in Perez. He's a World Cup swap token. Wait, have I got right winger? I don't need right wingers, but doesn't matter. He needs to play. Question eight. 2026 World Cup be the biggest ever. Oh, we, don't we know it? Talk about it a lot. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? The expansion. How many nations will host it? So this is, isn't it? Mexico, Canada, and America. It's three or four. I'm going to say three. Canada, Mexico, and United States. Boom, boom, and boom. You know what? I'm going to add a Canadian. I'm going to add the Canadian. I love this man. Mr. Alfonso Davis. What a legend. Oh, come off it. Yes, yes, that one. We'll take it. Perfect. For Bayern Munich, he often plays left back, but he's wasted. We're going to be playing him at Cam. Left wing. Number nine, who is US? Oh my God. This is very biased to the US. Where's the England questions? Doesn't matter. It's all a bit fun. The leading World Cup scorer. I'm just going to go for Clint Dempsey. I don't know why, but let's do it. Landon Donovan with five. Oh, Brian McBride there with three. I'm still mourning England's loss to France. So I need some English players in this team. So we will go for the lowest English player that I have a position for. Bell gets in the centre midfield, mate. Look at that team. Question 10, which team played 5-5-9 five, five, consecutive minutes without conceding cross the 2000? I'm... I am going to say Italy because they won the 2006 World Cup. So I'm hoping they just didn't concede a goal for a long, long time. I don't know how I'm going to find this out. Oh, here we are. Longest time without conceding a goal in a FIFA World Cup. Switzerland? This is a lie. That's definitely right. Unfortunately, I think it is. And we're going to take the lowest rated Swiss player. I think it's only fair. I can't believe that. That's hell of a record, isn't it? Pukash. You are going to be my guy, mate. And you can just sit on the bench because we don't need you in the first team. Ten questions down. I am currently... Oh, my God. I'm actually five and five. That's bad. Are you doing better? In the 19... Oh, God. I'm... All right. France just... Just Fontaine. Highest number of goals ever by a single player in one World Cup. How many? Really? I know Closer's the all-time greatest scorer. Hopefully, I get that question later. It's going to be something crazy. I reckon they probably battered a team like 8-9-0 and he got like six goals. I'm going to say 10. 13! That's bonkers. That is mad. I did not expect the quiz to be that. I've never even heard the guy's name. But sticking with tradition, we are going to be taking the lowest rated French player into the team. Camden. My right back. Uh, I already have a right back. So you are actually going to go on the bench. We need to turn the losing streak around with number 12. Legendary men's players won the most World Cups. Pele. I know it's Pele. He's won three. Yeah, 100%. Pele has won three World Cups. I knew I was right in that one. It's about time I got one right. And it just wouldn't be right unless we bought him. No way. I haven't got the coins. So we're going to have to buy a Brazilian teammate. Now we're in need of defenders. So let's buy another World Cup legend for Brazil. Roberto Carlos. For one, he's not, he's cheesy, he's expensive. But I got the question right. We want to celebrate. So let's put him a left back. Who is the all-time leading scorer at the Men's World Cup? Miroslav. Kalosa, yes! 
The German striker here is up close. He's a leading goal scorer in all FIFA World Cup tournaments. with 16 goals. About time I got some of these right. Okay, we need a centre-back. Let's take the best German centre-back we can afford. Actually, let's take the best German centre-back in our club, Rudiger. That saves us some coins. Now we've got two questions left. Could we get them right and maybe get some players to replace the bronzes? And then it's a game of FIFA where anyone under a 6.5 match rating is getting discarded. 14 of the following teams which has never won a World Cup on home soil. Now that, my friends, is a good question. I think it's Italy. I love it. Whenever Italy have popped up, I've picked Italy. And I think it's been wrong every time. But this time it's not wrong. It's right. It's Italy. I was wrong. Italy won the World Cup in 1934, which was in Italy. The team that has never won on home soil, funny enough, is a team that's won the most World Cups. Brazil. Because we're going to add the lowest rated bronze Brazilian, Pablo Felipe, from my club into the team. And we have got just one question left. Please let me get one good player to try and help me win the game and get everyone good match rating. And now if I get this one right, you will have to double check you are subscribed to this channel, all right? Number 15, which country has finished runners up a record number of times? I don't know. I'm going to say Argentina, I think, just for the fact of, I don't know. I'm just going to say Argentina. Annoyingly, submitting the quiz wasn't working, so we have to go and figure it out. So Spain has never been runners up at the World Cup. France have been runners up once. Argentina, who I picked, have been runners up three times. But Germany have actually been runners up four times. So I get that wrong. So we're going to chuck in the lowest rated German player on the bench. And it's time for the game of FIFA. I hope you all subscribed anyway, out of sympathy. Oh, they've got Mbappe up front. Oh, God, they've got a cracked team. Oh, Campos, Campos, Campos. Oh, he's missed it. Go on, Davies. Let's go. <laughs> to Etu. Etu. Oh, my word. Don't like this. Don't like this. Rudiger, you got him. You got him. You got him, Rudiger. Go on, Halliday. Pick him out. That is lovely. Go on. Thank you. Hall oh, Halliday nearly had an assist. No! No! <laughs> Referee, yes! Oh, here we are. This is what we've been waiting for. See what happens. Probably go miles over the bar. <laughs> no, 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 no. Carlo! Oh, come on. I'm really worried about Eto. Eto, come on, mate. You're better than this. Oh, that is a knock to Gamerez. Earn your coins, buddy. Earn your... That card has just been a joke for me. Yeah, that's a knock. Finish it off, Eto. Oh, my God. <sighs> I hate to say it, Eto, but you need a goal. Oh, Eto, you are so gone, mate. This is going to be really painful. Gamarez and Eto are gone, 1 million percent. How is that even possible? Only my goalie. You don't care about me discarding him. If you love this, go and watch this video where I built a squad around Jude Bellingham, who went out of the World Cup. So please watch it and make sure you subscribe to help my babe.